Hey there folks, um, I'm just going to show you some parts I had to get to uh, do a uh, total rebuild of the um, water pump, raw water pump for Yanma 3GM30 uh, engine. Um, so to start with, this is the actual pump the casing, um, so you can see the inside let me just make out in there that wasn't in best of conditions so I'm gonna use a wire brush to clean it all uh, it was a bit of a job to take all the bearings out from there and then obviously the impeller on this end still needs a reasonable clean uh, <clears throat> so the bits that came out so that's the shaft uh, you can see the, what is that, that's the groove for the circlip, which stops the bearing from sliding off one end, uh, and these are the bearings. So that's the big one, which sits next to the thread. Um, then there is a spacer, that's the spacer that goes there between the two bearings, and then a circlip which the old one broke so that's the new one um, and then the smaller bearing so they're both this I couldn't get a space out but it's in okay condition it just needs a polish um, so I got these three bits um, so we've got the um, the bearings to, uh, the circlip for the big bearing that's a new one uh, the bigger bearing and the smaller bearing with a circlip so the part numbers for these are the smaller one i think it is that's the part number msk bearing japanese one and then the bigger one is that part number there so you can go to the bearing shop and ask for those and they'll be hopefully bang on um space i'm going to reuse <coughs> um sharp needs a bit of a clean and then from there on the impeller side these were the old seal that's buggered. You can see the metal o ring inside the seal was rusted. Um, that was the old o ring be below it, and I've got those as well. Now, to help you guys uh, purchase the right parts, so <clears throat> these are the bearings. So, the ones against the arrows, so two bearings, the top one. Number item number 10, 20, 30, and 40 is what you need. Two bearings and two circlips. Yeah, and then <coughs> for the seals, <coughs> these are the three items you need. Top one is a seal, second one is the o ring that goes inside the seal, and then the o ring that goes on the shaft. Yeah, there's three ones, so those are part numbers. Um, anyway, so that's <coughs> the bits to ready to be assembled after major cleanup and i shall post another video with the completed product all right cheers okay the first bearing is on you can see i used that socket long socket to drive it in second bearing is about to go on and you can see the spacer i've used the same spacer sanded it a bit and uh, you can see the circle up just before the spacer that's sitting in the groove on the shaft, which is stopping that bearing coming sliding this way. Ready? Okay. Both bearings are on now. Um, you can see, and space in between. That's the bearings from the impeller side. This bearing is from the pulley side. Yep, the bigger one and the smaller one. Ready? Alrighty. The shaft is in the pump. As you can see, I've put a new circlip in there. Uh, this is the socket spanner that I used to drive it in. It's just the right diameter. That is the size of that is. Let's see. It is. It's a metering. Twelve. 
توی توروم امم یه فیتن بینام دی ایس گیو دی بیت ویک به همه این چیزن اولی فیتن So the way it goes is that o-ring there goes in first below that seal and then the seal with the spring or the o-ring side facing out here facing towards the impeller and it goes into that shaft and I used that socket's long socket to gently drive it in and the number on that socket is uh, 19mm, yep, long socket, 19mm, that will drive it in, pretty much ready for the impeller and the pulley now, um, yep, looking good. Pump, pump has been assembled. Um, all ready to be installed back on the boat. Um, I'll give it a bit of a clean, maybe a paint, and then, uh, yep, should be good already.